And we'll keep you up to date all morning long. Mike Smitha. All right, Rob, thank you. Our Kevin Craig is out braving the snow and the cold off of Alpine Avenue in Walker. Kevin, what are you looking at this morning? Well, I'll tell you guys, we are on one of the busiest thoroughfares here in Grand Rapids, but one of the things I want to say is look at the stores. None of them are obviously open yet, but I'll tell you, I have seen several dozens of independent snowplow drivers, obviously trying to get all these parking lots clear before these places open up. We're in the Starbucks. Starbucks is one of the first places to open up this morning. They typically open at 530 this morning. Employees come in at about five o'clock in the morning, so naturally, let's step inside and talk to a couple of the employees on how their drive was on the way into work. These guys got here pretty early, the morning shift, really the beginning of the rush hour for all practical purposes. Will, you came in from Forest Hills, a little bit of a drive all the way to Alpine. Tell me what you found. Well, uh, the roads are pretty much untouched, and I found that if I wouldn't have had four-wheel drive, I probably wouldn't have made it here. So pretty challenging drive in there. Yeah, yeah, ton of snow everywhere. Your co-worker, Ben? commuted in from Rockford, just north of here. What'd you find? Would, now, he didn't have a four-wheel drive. You got a car, so a little bit different for you. Uh, it was a little slippery, but it was good. Smooth drive. Just got to go slow. Now, here's a question for you guys. I, I've been here since probably oh, just before, let's see, we did the last hit at 5 o'clock. We were here probably about 5.30 or so. I've seen a couple of regular customers come in already. Are they getting here? But the, these guys are on a first-name basis, obviously. With the, are they getting here the same time, or are they getting here a little bit later? Well, some of them are really dedicated, so they're getting here at the same time, but we've definitely have this morning so some of them just aren't showing up at all uh, and that might be due to not only the not only the, the situation with the with the weather but you know we got some school closings maybe yeah. some businesses uh, kind of slowing things yeah, that's down. right moms well. and dads and stuff like that not being able to take their kids to school or whatever all right will and Ben thanks for your time guys hey we got another gentleman over here reading the paper let's take a look at what's going on and talk to him and find out how his commute in oh, look at this this is sat truck Troy hey where, where are we going for the next live shot I, well, Kevin, I think we should stay here. I get a little skim mocha latte. I'll be good. Just put my feet up. That's, and it's warm. And it's warm. So you got a sad truck, Troy, everybody. This is the guy that makes it happen, aside from our gentleman behind the camera as well. Hey, listen, we'll be in another location next hour, probably dive into one of the neighborhoods in downtown Grand Rapids. So that's coming up at the top of the next hour, about the 7 o'clock hour. We'll see everybody then. We're live on Alpine, north side of Grand Rapids. Vitha, back to you. All right, guys, bring back some of those mochas for us. Well, with all of the snow comes school closings, but today is count day, a day where each season